step one is to set it up into a long division problem. So let's do that. Okay, always what you're dividing uh, into would go into the bar here. So I'm going to draw the bar in a second. 2x squared plus x minus 14. Put my bar in another color. Great. All right, now we're all set up to do the problem. No sweat. Now let's look and think x. How, does, how do I make an x look like 2x squared? What do we need to multiply it by? Let's see here. To get it to look like x squared, I obviously need an x. And I always lined it up over the, the next one. So I'm going to put an x right there. Okay. And I would need something else to make it look like 2x squared, and that's just a 2. So put a 2 up there, 2 in front of your x. 2x times x, that's 2x squared. Fantastic. Now, 2x times 3, excuse me, uh, let's see, 6x, there it is. Alright, now things line up pretty nicely. It looks like these will cancel out, uh, cancel out, but I need to do my parentheses, don't forget. Okay, because when you don't do parentheses, you're tempted real quickly to write that this is 7x, but it's not going to be, so we've got to be real careful to use this step. Okay, don't skip it. Alright, so don't, don't skip the smotto. Make sure you do the smotto here. If you like different colored pens, hey, please use them. Okay, we're going to add the opposites. And like I was talking about, this does not turn out to 7x. It actually turns out to negative 5x. Okay. These obviously cancel, so that's the right number up there. If they didn't, I need to go back. Now, uh, let's see, I need to bring down that negative 14, that negative goes with it. And the question is, how do I make x plus 3, or this first part, the x, look like a negative 5x? Okay, real quickly, you just got to multiply by negative 5, nothing hard about that. So I'll just put minus 5 up there, negative 5 times x, negative 5 x. Easy. Negative 5 times 3. Well, let's see, that's negative 15. Looks like we're going to have some leftovers here. That's okay. I love leftovers. Alright, now this is an easy smotto. Okay, change all the signs inside. And Five, negative 5x, five positive 5x, they're canceled. Negative 14, positive 15 gives us a 1, a remainder of 1, just like example 1. And the final answer, if you remember how to write it, you need to write 2x minus 5, and you need to account for the remainder. So we're going to do plus 1 over what you divided with, x plus 3. Okay, this is the proper way to write it. Another way to write it would be 2x minus 5, r1, or remainder 1, but this is a better way to write that.